see how this smells, shall we? That smells like orange juice and tangerine. What is up everybody? Welcome back to Alan's Beer and Gaming. And before we go any further, if you like any uh, content you see on this channel, hit subscribe, hit the notification bell. With that being said, tonight we'll be reviewing Tropicana Citrus IPA by High Seas Beer. Or Heavy Seas Beer, my apologies. Fearless, bold, independent. Unbound wanderer with a sense of adventure. Refreshingly fruit, uh, fruity, citrusy twist on an American IPA. Kind of like the rest of the IPAs that are out there, but I digress. Its bold citrus flavor will set you adrift in a tropical paradise. We shall see. Let's see, this is 7.25% alcohol by volume. Here's the can on this one. And... Looks like it's sitting in a, a, a solid open, no, 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 a pirate's hat, my bad, or an admiral's hat. So apparently one of the uh, the main flavors you get off of this is blood orange. So, Got a new kitty cat and likes cleaning the wires on my computer, and I don't particularly care for that. It's got kind of a golden color to it, but an orange tint. Nice big old head, about three fingers. I finally found something. And as you can see, foam's going down a little bit. A bit of lacing on the glass. Go ahead and top it up. Oh, seriously, got to get to my local bottle store. There's like three beers, three craft beer brands or varieties at the local grocery store that I have yet to try past this one. So we shall see. We shall see how how quickly I can get through those and get to the bottle store. So, which that's one of the reasons why I haven't been putting out a whole lot of new content is that. Uh, because I don't have any new beers really to be drinking. Um, that's one of the reasons why I've been doing some live streaming, just sitting and shooting the shit for like 20 minutes, just talking off the top of my head, because, well, like I said, I like to pontificate. Let's see how this smells, shall we? That smells like orange juice and tangerine. Here, smell that smells delicious. Hopefully, the aroma matches to the taste. That doesn't always happen. If you smell it, you're like, oh, 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 that smells wonderful. And then you go to drink it, it's like, fuck, what happened? So we're going to taste it. I'm going to say I don't smell. I'm going to take and give it a four out of five. It smells freaking beautiful. Let's see how it tastes. What the? No, they're just playing. That's false advertisement with that aroma. That's bullshit. Take them to court over this. The aroma gives off false advertisement. The aroma is beautiful. The taste, eh, it's alright, it's pretty good. But it doesn't match up to the aroma at all. When you get malt in it, or you get a malty backbone off of it, you get hints uh, of grapefruit. You get a, like, it's like somebody took, like, orange juice or, like, some tangerine juice or something like Like, they squeezed a bunch of tangerines and they poured water into it like more water than the tangerine juice and that's kind of what it tastes like it's got a, a hint of tangerine and a hint of orange but nothing that's overbearingly of anything so it's underwhelming in flavor I'm not saying it's bad but it's just like you smell it like oh shit this is going to be good and you're drinking you're like what the hell 
Ho ho! Smell. Eh! Flavor. I'm going to take and give it a three on flavor. It, it really... If the, if, the, if the flavor matched the aroma, this would be a slam dunk of a beer. This is worth trying. This is this would be good for you buy a 12 pack and there's a one off of it. Or two off. Or excuse me, I'll say 12 pack and there's three of them in there. You're going to enjoy the three, but you're not going to go looking for the six pack. So, ah, eesh, stuff like this angers me. Man, that's just, overall, I'm going to take and give this, and on the finish, I'm going to take and give it a, a, a three and a quarter, because it's got a bit of that, that bitterness to it. It's got a little more of that flavor. Once you actually drink and the stuff that's left over on your tongue, you get more of the pithiness and a hint more of the tart of like a tartness off orange juice. Um, but it, it's just an over for an overall experience. You smell it and it's like beautiful. You drink it, you're like, what happened? And it finishes and it's like, all right, well that's you know, why couldn't there be more of this aspect all the way through? So it, for me, it just underwhelms so bad. Uh, I'm going to take and give it a, a 3.25 on the finish. Overall, I'm going to take and give it 3.25. I mean, it's it's good. It, it is. It's, it's good. It's drinkable. Um, it's nothing spectacular. It's nothing fantastic. Uh, you know, it is it is what it is. It, it, it's, it's a beer with beautiful aromas that promise so much more, and it just falls flat. So, that being said... Y'all have a lovely evening. Peace out.